welcoming you all for my youtube channel in this session i am discussing uh, the method called reduction formula i am finding the reduction formula for uh, uh, integral of sin power nx and uh, integral of cos power nx dx so let us see the formula reduction formula for integral sin power nx dx So I'll define the given problem as i n equal to integral sine power n x dx. Then to find the reduction formula, I'm going to multiply and divide, multiply and divide, multiply and divide by sine x sine x. Here you should know what I am going to do here. You should know the loss of indices. If you consider a power x, if you multiply and divide by a here, this can be written as what? a power x into 1 over a can be written as a power minus 1 into a. So, as we have bases are same at the powers here, we can write that as a power x minus 1 into a. Right? That is what I am going to do here. So, if I multiply and divide by sin x, we are going to get i n equal to integral sin power n minus 1 x into sin x dx. So, to integrate these two terms, we should apply integration by parts. So, I will consider the first term as u and second term as v. So, now we know that we know that integration by parts you, integral of u v dx is what u into integral of v dx minus integral of integral v dx into d by dx of u u dx. So now let us find out uh, integral of uh, sine power n minus 1 x into sine x. So that is what u is sine power n minus 1 x integral of sin x integral of sin x is minus cos x integral of sin x is what minus cos x minus integral of this is what again i am going to integrate so write down the same value so which is nothing but minus cos x into derivative of sin power n minus 1 x d by dx of sin power n minus 1 x dx so, it can be written as minus sin power n minus 1 x into cos x minus into minus. Minus into minus is what? Minus into minus is plus integral cos x into derivative of sin power n minus 1 x as it is of the form x power n minus 1. So, x power n minus 1 is what? n minus 1 into x power n minus 2. So, likewise in place of x we have sin, sin power n minus 2 x into derivative of sin x is cos x dx. So, cos into cos is what now? Cos, is, cos into cos is cos square. So, which is nothing but minus sin power n minus 1 x cos x plus you can take out constant term outside n minus 1 n minus 1 into integral sin power n minus 2 x into cos x into cos x is cos square x dx. So, what is cos square x dx? But cos square x is what? According to by trigonometric identity we have cos square x can be written as 1 minus sin square x. So, which is nothing but minus sin power n minus 1 x cos x plus n minus 1 into integral of sin power n minus 2 x into 1 minus sin square x dx sin square x dx. So, now multiplying uh, these term inside what we are going to get let us see 
so i n equal to i n equal to minus minus sine power n minus one x into cos x plus n minus one times of integral sine power n minus two x into one is sine power n minus two x dx itself. So plus into minus minus bases are same at the powers. So and we have constant term n minus one outside into integral of sine power n minus two into sine square bases are same at the powers. So uh, plus two minus two get cancelled. You are left out with sine power n x dx. So if you name the first uh, value as uh, equation star from star I can write these two as I can write these two as i n equal to i n equal to minus sine power n minus one x cos x plus n minus one times of i n minus two in place of n I have n minus two just replace n by n minus two n i n minus two minus of n minus one into i n so from star I have written the form like this so now if you shift this to uh, right uh, left hand side so we are going to get basis or uh, here uh, take out the common term one take out the common term one n minus 1 plus 1 get uh, minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled you are left out with n i n n i n is equal to minus sine power n minus 1 x cos x plus of n minus 1 i n minus 2 i n minus 2 so therefore i require to find i n i n equal to divide by n i n equal to minus sine power n minus 1 x cos x whole divided by n plus of n minus 1 by n i n minus 2 is the required reduction formula for indefinite integral of indefinite integral of sine power n x dx. So now similarly we shall see to find the reduction formula for cos power n x dx similarly it is similar now let us see how to derive that uh, equation reduction formula for reduction formula for integral cos power n x dx so now name the given integral as i n equal to integral cos power n x dx. So to find in, uh, integral of this, I am going to multiply and divide by cos. Multiply and divide by cos. So the divided term can be written as whole power minus 1. So it becomes cos power n minus 1 x into cos x dx. So again you should apply uv rule. So which is nothing but u into u is cos power n minus 1 x into integral of v. Integral of v is what? Integral of cos x. We remember integral of cos x is sin x. Integral of cos x is sin x. So sin x minus integral of integral v that is sin x into d, d by dx of derivative of cos power n minus 1 x dx. So, which it becomes what? Cos power n minus 1 x into sin x minus integral of sin x into derivative of cos power n minus 1. It is nothing but n minus 1 into cos power n minus 2 x into derivative of cos x. Applying chain rule by chain rule, derivative of cos x is minus sin x x into dx. So simplifying this minus minus into minus plus and take out this constant term it becomes cos power n minus 1x 
into sin x plus minus into minus plus n minus 1 into integral of cos power n minus 2 x into sin into sin sin into sin sin into sin is sin square x dx but what is sin square x dx what is sin square x by trigonometric identity we can write sin square x as 1 minus cos square x substituting this in above equation cos power n minus 1 x into sin x plus plus n minus 1 into integral of cos power n minus 2 x into 1 minus cos square x dx as same as previous problem we are multiplying this term with 1 and with cos square x with 1 and cos square x so what you are going to get so cos power n minus 1 x sin x plus of n minus 1 with 1 times we are doing a into 1 is what a itself similarly n minus 1 into integral of cos power n minus 2 x dx plus into minus plus into minus plus into minus is what minus n minus 1 n minus 1 integral basis are same basis are same at the powers of cos cos power n minus 2 plus 2 cos power n minus 2 plus 2 n minus 2 plus 2 n minus 2 plus 2 2 to get cancelled you are left out with n cos power n x dx to simplify this problem, I will name the uh, given problem as equation star. So, from star, I can rewrite this as i n equal to cos power n minus 1 x sin x plus of n minus 1 into in place of e, in place of n, I have n minus 2. So, I can write this as from star i n minus 2 minus of n minus 1 i n from star from equation star so shifting this term to left hand side and taking the common term as i n so here the coefficient of i n is 1 1 so if you shift this uh, to left hand side minus becomes plus plus of n minus 1 i n which is equal to cos power n minus 1 x into sin x plus of n minus 1 i n minus 2 so minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled you are left out with n i n equal to cos power n minus 1 x into sin x plus of n minus 1 i n minus 2 i n minus 2 so dividing divide by n divide by n what we are going to get i n equal to cos power n minus 1 x sin x whole divided by n plus of n minus 1 by n i n minus 2 i n minus 2 is the required reduction formula for indefinite integral of cos power n x dx. So this is the way to solve uh, the reduction formula of uh, cos power nx and sin power nx.